Welcome, welcome, welcome. Shelley Fischel, the MS Office Maestro here once again with another top tip just for you. Today's tip is in answer to a question posed on one of my other videos. And the question was, if I've been assigned a task in a meeting where it pops up in the meeting notes and agenda task pane, can I add that task to a specific plan? Well, recently, Microsoft have introduced the ability to open a plan from a task, so you can see where it is, and you can also move them around. So let's have a look at how all that works. Now, I've created a plan in my Microsoft team, Teams, and the one you can see on the screen is my own version. It's me, Tomorrow's VA. Up here, it's Shelley Fischel of Tomorrow's VA, and I am in new bite-sized courses. So this is a plan all about creating a course. So I've got all the different tasks set up and I have already made the assignments between myself and Lou. So now I'm going to bring Lou's version of Teams, who is in the browser, onto my desktop so you can see what it looks like for her. Here we are. Here is Lou's Microsoft Teams. She's also in the training team in the training rollout channel and she has the new bite sized courses open and you can see she can see all the assignments the things that are hers and the things that are mine so here on Lou's um, planner we can see all the different tasks and we can see some of the tasks that have been assigned to her now what Lou can do is she can come over here and open planner in planner in the teams and here it's opened up with a task so we're now looking at Planner and Planner is looking at Lou's tasks, my tasks. And we can see that they're in new bite-sized courses and she can go in here and edit. She can't edit this because I've assigned it to her um, in it's my plan. So she can't do much with that. If Lou goes to her plans, she can see which plans she has access to. And there's that new bite-sized courses plan that she can bring back into the front the view. Now she can look at my tasks as we just said she can see where they're due what they are and she can look at my day which doesn't have anything to do. So Lou can actually come into this task here and she can click these three dots and add it to my day and perhaps she wants to add this one to my day. So now when Lou goes back to my day she can see she has two tasks to do from new bite-sized courses. And again, if we come to the three dots here, she can actually move that task and she can move it to a different plan if there is one. Now, there actually isn't one because I recently deleted all my plans. So there isn't another plan. So we'll create one in just a moment. So that's how Lou can see it. Now, I'm going to stop recording for a second and bring my version back on screen. So here I am in my teams, in my plan, in my training rollout and again I have pinned planner to the rail here so if I go to planner I'll be able to see the same things that Lou could see. I could see my plans, new bite sized courses and then I can see my tasks and they're all there assigned to me. Now I can come to this one and I could move it to another plan if I have one. So let's move it to plan and which is in the to-do bucket, so we'll move it there. And if I go to my plans, there's the plan, and there it is, it's moved from one to the other. So I can move it there. Now, if I want to copy it, and I can copy it to uh, the bite-sized courses, because I actually moved it, and I'm gonna copy it back there. So if I go back to my plan, back to new bite-sized courses, there it is back there again. So that's how you can move and copy tasks between plans from planner and tasks and to do. And I'm just going to create a scheduled meeting where Lou and Shelley are going to discuss this plan. OK, so here I am in a meeting that I created for Shelley and Lou to discuss this training plan called training plan discussion and you'll see that I had set some tasks up and I've added some meeting notes 
And if I bring Lou over into the picture, you'll see that she can see exactly the same. I do have to let you know that any external participants who are not members of your organization will not be able to see any of those notes or agenda tasks at all. So I'm going to move Lou, Lou back out of the frame so that I can concentrate. So here we've got the follow up tasks. We can see that they are assigned and we can add more here as well and, and assign them. I'm actually not going to add any more tasks because we've done what we need to do. Now I'm going to leave this meeting and end it for everybody, which means that Lou's got kicked out over there too, and come back in to Teams. Now if I come back into the meeting here and go to the expand area, here you can see when I scroll down, there are those meeting notes, whatever we discussed in the meeting, along with the tasks and who they've been assigned to. So we can see them from here. Now this is a channel meeting, so if I go to Teams and the training rollout channel, there is the meeting and I can click the more options and edit the meeting details, which takes me back so that I can see the tasks that were assigned. Now I can open a detailed view of this so I can see what the task is. Now there are other places that I can see those tasks assigned to me. I can go to Planner over here in the left hand side of Teams and here I can go and look at my tasks as we saw before. And when I'm looking at my tasks, here I can see tasks assigned from the training plan discussion meeting. So I can see that here. Now the question I was asked is, can I move or copy these tasks from one plan to another? And the answer to that is yes, because now I can click on these three dots here and I can copy the task or move it. So this is design learning needs analysis. Let's move that task. We're gonna move it to the plan new bite-sized courses and we're going to put it in the research and guide section and we're going to move it there. So we know now that that should be in that plan. So if we go to my plans, new bite sized courses, um, it should be in the research and guidelines. There is design LNA. So again, if I come back to my tasks, I can see that it's now in new bite sized courses and not necessarily in the meeting anymore. So let's go and look at the meeting. So we'll go back to my calendar come back to the meeting, open the meeting, and go down and see these tasks. It's still there showing because it was part of the meeting, but it now lives with the plan that I want it to live with. And I can do that either by copying or moving. If I bring Lou into the picture, because Lou is also at my organization, if we open the meeting from here, we'll see that she can also see the tasks and who they're assigned to. And if she goes to the rail here and chooses planner, if she wants to pin it, she can right click and pin it, then it's always available. Um, here she is in planner and we're looking at my tasks already and we can see which ones she's got. So she doesn't have the design learning needs analysis. She has the take it to everyone or get people to fill it in. And again, she can go to my day and see what she has there and she could decide to add this to her day because that's a really important task for her to do. And then she will see that also in Outlook as we saw before. So if I come and go to Outlook, it will take a moment, and go to Microsoft To Do in Outlook for Lou and go to Assigned to Me, there are the, the same tasks. And if we go to My Day, there are the three tasks that she has to do today. So what you can see from this tutorial is that Microsoft Planner and Microsoft To Do are joined up all across Microsoft Teams. So as long as you've added a plan to a team, then whatever you add to it will always be there. We've also seen that you can see your tasks, the things that you have to do in your Microsoft To Do inside of Outlook. Well, I hope that today's tip has been really useful for you and that you've learned a lot and that I've answered your questions. For more tips like this, remember to subscribe to the channel, give this video a like and do share it with your friends. And I'll see you another tip sometime soon. Over and out from Shelley Fischel, the MS Office Maestro.